terraplank lists. Now these are just going to be, I'm showing you the first baby steps in our new direction that we're taking. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're running on a uh, VM here, Hyper-V, excuse me, on this machine right here. Uh, this is in a branch and it's on this machine, but nobody has seen this, so uh, that includes our management. Uh, so we're really hoping everything is going to go perfectly. <laughs> Alright, so here we are looking at a SharePoint list, and I'm tracking a celebration dinner that we're going to have when we get back to Seattle. We're all going to celebrate how smoothly all of our demos went. Uh, so if any of you have used a SharePoint list, uh, the default experience when you want to add or edit a record on your SharePoint list, I'll just go ahead and do that. I'm going to click Add New Item. So what you get is a modal experience. And modal is a technical term for really annoying. <laughs> because you know, what happens is, I can't do anything else except to finish this scenario, finish adding or editing this record, before I can go back to this, look at other records, and edit other records, and so forth. So I won't bore you with uh, my typo. Instead, I'll go back to the list. So you can see here, when you create a SharePoint list, you get the default all items view, it's called. But let's say I want to create my own view on the top of the SharePoint list. I'm going to go up to the top of that one. This customized form button here will remain there for a while. These two things will be running in parallel. But this demo is about the new functionality. So what's going to happen when I click this button is that the access forms package underneath is going to take this SharePoint list and look at all the columns, and it's going to create a control for each of those columns on my new form. So here we go. Hey, it worked. Great. Alright, so here you see... So here we are in the form, and this is the design surface of the form. This is not uh, how an end user would interact with Henry Data. This is simply designing a form. And I can also move controls around. And you can see that as I move the control, the other controls on the form move. I can also make the uh, view larger or smaller, depending on where I drop the control. And when I drop the control, it snaps into place on the underlying okay. grid, so I don't have to spend time trying to line everything up perfectly. In addition to moving controls around, I can also resize. Because I'm going to need lots of notes our dinner party, make sure everything goes smooth. All right, so now I've customized my form, and I'm going to save it. All right, so now you can see we're back on the SharePoint list, and in addition to the all items view in that little navigation bar, we also have a list details view. You might choose to make the list details view the default view. So maybe you want all of your users, when they come visit this SharePoint list, to see the list details view right when they uh, first view it. In this case, though, I'm just going to show it to you in the runtime as if I was adding or editing an item. All right, great. So here is our new form. This is in the runtime. And down on the left side, you can see a list of the different records. I'm able to click 